Welcome back to the channel YouTube. Splitting Wigs here with another tutorial for the PlayStation 4. And this is the number one thing you can do to upgrade your PlayStation going forward into 2021. Throwing in an SSD is going to make the biggest difference, guys, especially when you're trying to run these big games. I keep saying it, Cyberpunk, The Witcher, God of War, uh, Warzone. These systems need all the help they can get. So install an SSD like I'm going to show you in this video. Go to my other video, make sure you have it cleaned out, and it's going to run as cool as possible. And I'm telling you, it will help your experience going forward. So if you end up going on to learn something new, like the video, please like the video. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. And be sure to subscribe and click that bell to find your way back for more content. Anyway, let's get into this. Real quick, guys, just going to show you what all you need. You obviously need your PlayStation, external hard drive with enough storage space to fit what you have on here. This is a 500 gig, um, a number one Phillips head screwdriver, a uh, thumb drive with enough storage space left on it to do a small file straight from uh, Sony PlayStation's website. And uh, obviously you're going to need an SSD. Um, not pictured here, but you can get one on Amazon right now. The Samsungs, which are like the top of the line model, are only, only $59.99 right now on Amazon. That's a bargain. Uh, I strongly recommend that one. However, if you want to go the cheap route, this is actually a Chinese cheap eBay special that ha I've had no problems with for over a year. Um, so you might want to, you could try to go to like the $20 Chinese SSD route to just give it a try and see how it goes. I've had luck with this, uh, Mox one. You could try the Mox one SSD and see if you have any luck. Uh, but now the next step I will show you is backing up everything onto your hard drive. Click on settings after you've plugged in your external hard drive to the front of your PlayStation. Then you're going to scroll down all the way until you get to system. Click on that. And then you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to backup and restore. Click on that. Then you're going to hit backup PlayStation 4. Hit next, let it load, and boom, you're done. Okay, on to probably what's one of the easiest parts of this. I mean, a lot of people probably think this is difficult, but it's not. All you do is just slide this cover off like so. There's one screw here that holds this whole rack into the PlayStation. Back out that screw. Slide out the tray. There is four screws here. Through the magic of editing, I'm gonna speed this up. Once those are out, you take out your old hard drive, take the brand new SSD, put it back in, and same thing. Reinstall all four screws, and through the magic of editing, this will take a lot less time than it does. Once those are all in, Slide the tray back in, holes line right back up. Take this pretty cool little PlayStation screw that has all the shapes on it. It's pretty cool. Tighten that back up. Don't go crazy with that because you can strip that pretty easy. Feels like it's aluminum. Pop the tray back into place. Boom. Your PlayStation now has an SSD in it. All you need to do is jump over onto your PC with your thumb drive. Now use the link in the description below to get the most up-to-date software available for the PlayStation 4. Simply download it and save it to the thumb drive and head back on over to the PlayStation. Now with your thumb drive back in your PlayStation 4, you're going to want to hold on the power button for 7 seconds until it brings up the following screen. With your PlayStation controller plugged into the front of the PlayStation with the USB, you just simply follow the on-screen instruction for this step. It is that easy and boom, on to the next step. Next step is simple. All you do is just plug in your external hard drive with all of your game saves and things like that saved to it. And you're going to just put that all back onto your PlayStation's SSD drive. Now you're almost done. You go over to settings, scroll down to system, select that. Then you're going to want to scroll down to backup and restore, select that. That'll bring up the next screen, which will be, you need to go to restore PS4, select that, find the file that you just made and then boom, restore, and you're ready to go back to slaying out on whatever game you're playing. Just a quick note here at the end, this is actually the same for all PlayStations across the board. The PlayStation Original, like I have, PS4 Pro, PS4 Slim, all the same. The screws might just be in slightly different spots. So if you're still watching, thanks a lot. Type Outro Crew in the comments below, that'd be sweet. And uh, you know, happy gaming guys. Hope this SSD helps you out a lot. Watch one of the other videos on your screen. Splitting wigs out. I'll catch you on the next one.